Hello everyone. First off, I'd like to thank you for joining me in this video here. Now, this is going to be about my wishes for the hopefully upcoming The Last of Us 2 by Naughty Dog. So, um, what inspired this video was a fellow blogger on the PlayStation forums, Mick 25 Now, um, he did a wish list about what he wanted to see on The Last of Us 2 and it actually was very intriguing and inspired me to do this video. So. I just wanted to shout him out because if it wasn't for him doing his video, I wouldn't be doing mine, obviously. So, um, as you can see, I'm running some footage here of, um, some scenes from The Last of Us. And the reason why I'm doing this is just kind of tell you, like, what I'd like to see from the story aspect of the game. And later on down the line, I'll mention what I want from, like, the multiplayer and two and a few fixes and all that. So, um... From the story of The Last of Us 2, I liked it to, like, kind of go over Joel's past, you know, like, all the stuff that he did Joel? before, um, Joel? the events of The Last of Us 1. So it'll kind of cover the 20 years of, um, after Sarah's death. So, as you can see on the left behind footage I'm showing here, what it did is it showed, you know, what happened during the attack with the cannibals at the university and then it kind of shows what Ellie had to do to save Joel and then it also kind of flashes in like some of her history with Riley here and there so you knew what um Ellie did so since we kind of had a bit of an origins for Ellie it'd be nice if we had the same thing for Joel so um what I was kind of thinking of as you're gonna see from a video later on down the line I was thinking something like because it's obviously gonna be people who didn't play The Last of Us 1 that's gonna play The Last of Us 2, which, you know, I find kinda crazy because you should play the first game. It's awesome. It's hands down the best game on both the PS3 and 4, and it's just overall a great game and you're missing out if, like, you haven't played it from a gameplay and a story aspect. So, um, picking back off what I was saying before, it'd be nice if, you know, it kinda did a bit of a catch-up, so if you hadn't played The Last of Us 1, you wouldn't be completely out of the dry and you like would be foreign to this world so it'll kind of ease people in to the world so you know about infected the, it being post-apocalyptic you know so not many electronics and all that going around and of course scarce ammo you know and desperate people to survive so the story I'm kind of like holding it back just so this clip here that will around the time I start talking about it the game immediately would start off right here with Joe and um, Sarah getting saved by a military officer, you know, and they're thinking, you know, we're saved, he's going to help us out, and obviously he doesn't do that at all because he's ordered to execute them. So, normally what would happen is Joe would get shot at by the officer, you know, and then Tommy jumps in and saves them, and, you know, he's thinking he saved the day, they're going to be fine now, but unfortunately Sarah starts to bleed out in his arms. I'm thinking it'd be kind of like a dream, you know, like you see all this happening and then instead of, you know, Sarah bleeding out, you look over and then Joel's bleeding out, you know, so Sarah jumps to kind of save him, Tommy's in the back, I'm like, Joe, you're going to be okay and all that, and, you know, he eventually kind of bleeds out, so Sarah just starts screaming, Joe, Joe, um, well, dad, dad, and then, you know, she yells, Joe, and it's like, huh, why is... Sarah calling her dad by his first name and then you know he'll wake up and it's actually Ellie calling out to him so Joe's like Jesus you know I just had like this crazy nightmare like what do you want so Ellie tells Joe you know get out of bed throw your clothes on I want to talk to you you know and he's like why don't you just talk to me here you know and she kind of tells him you know I want to get somewhere a little more private so you know Ellie and Joe walk through the town obviously they're living with Tommy and Maria in their little town at the dam and eventually they'll get to a gate there'll be interaction or whatever so it'd be kind of this would be part of like the story where you just kind of walk around and just kind of get a feel for the walking controls and overall the world and they get back up to a familiar place it's going to be the same place where Ellie and Joe had a little talk at the climax of the game and then after they get to that spot, you know, Ellie's going to just ask Joe, you know, like, I feel like you've been lying to me. 
what really happened back there, you know. And this is going to be like uh, maybe a few weeks, maybe a month or two after the first events of the game. So a little time has been passing. So pretty much during this time, Ellie's still been a little distant to Joe, you know. And then he's just going to say, you know, once again, I told you, they got your blood. They couldn't do anything with the cure. And then we got out of here, and, you know, and Ellie obviously has this kind of like bullshit detector, so she knows when Joel's lying, and she know, she's like, you've been feeding me this bullshit for all this time, I want to hear the truth, you know, and then Joel kind of, of course he's lying, what really happened is, <laughs> he killed uh, Marlene, and all the fireflies, just so he could get Ellie out of there, because, you know, in order for them to make the cure, they have to kill her, and then get her, um, the, like, tissue sample or whatever that was causing her to be immune to the infection so you know Joe's keeping that fact because he knows Ellie pretty much wanted to die at this point she doesn't care if she's gonna die as long as the cures happen um the cures meet and you know she can see Riley in the other world <laughs> hopefully you know so he just kind of like lies to her again and you're know, kind of feeding on to his lie and says that they were taking your blood it didn't work. They wanted more blood, and he's like, you're going to kill her getting all this blood out. So, you know, he convinced him to just get the car and go from Marlene, and then, you know, they end up here. You know, Ellie still kind of feels like, you know, something's up, and she's just about to question him some again where it's like, you hear a loud gunshot ring out, and then, you know, moments later, an alarm rings. So, they run down to him, and then you'll see, like, some fireflies... No, um, holding up one of their their townspeople, and then there's like a couple of bodies on the floor. Now, um, what I'm thinking is like I'm not sure if any of you guys seen the show Wayward Pines. There's like a part of that show, you know, spoiler, spoiler, where they were told about um there being monsters outside and why the adults can't find out about it, and it's like the kids understand why people must be reckoning which is um it's a term for them killing people obviously because it has wrecked in it <laughs> so there are people that were like kind of like terrorists they did all this bad stuff they're trying to break through the wall and find out what's outside and they were captured before they can do it and the sheriff didn't reckon the terrorists so the people found out about it and then the kids you know they're extremists because you know they aren't as mature as the adults, so they take things a little too literal, just like, you know, you see all the time, kids shooting up schools and all that, for whatever reason, because they take things too literal and all this, whether it's being inspired by a movie or, you know, something their parents told them and all that, so, these, these younger fireflies were, like, raised in this crazy world, so, you know, they're, they are very familiar with violence and, the Firefly Code is, you know, by any means, you know, you do whatever it takes to, you know, find a cure and save the world, so. They're interrogating these townspeople, trying to find out where Ellie is, except, you know, no one knows Ellie's name except Marlene, and she's dead, so. All they have is her description, and so the townspeople, like, they're getting slaughtered pretty much just so they can find Ellie. So this guy being held up, you know, he's got his hands behind his head, and he's like, you just killed my friend, I'm not telling you shit. You know, and then the, the young firefly just shoots him in the back of the head like it's nothing. And he's got a buddy next to him. The buddy's freaking out like, hey, why did you just kill him? He's innocent. And it's like they're about the same age, so the guy who just shot the townsperson, he points his gun at his firefly friend. Is like, they're not. he wasn't going to tell us anything. You know as well as I do you, that we have to do whatever it takes to find a cure. If you're not as dedicated as I am, I'll shoot you right now. You're not a firefly if you're not dedicated to doing whatever it takes. So the guy's like, I'm dedicated. I'm a firefly too. And so the two guys storm off and they're going back into town to kill more people, interrogate, and do whatever it takes to find Ellie. So Ellie, of course, wants to jump in and stop them from killing the person. But Joe's like, no, stop. You don't have any guns on us right now. They're across the fence. You know, they're going to kill us. So... You continue going on the dam, and this, of course, is going to be the first chapter, so it's going to be kind of a tutorial. 
So I'm thinking you'll see like a firefly on patrol around here. This is when you learn to crouch, you know, and stealth kill people and all that. So later on, then you would, um, after you kill, you interrogate, well, not interrogate, I'm sorry, you choked out this guy, his radio is sounding off, and his fellow fireflies are trying to communicate with him, but of course he's knocked out or dead or whatever. <laughs> And they end up going into the area to check up on them. They still don't have any weapons on them. Although I'm thinking they could probably grab a revolver or a pistol from this guy they just choked out. So, you know, you have a gun. Well, not much ammo, of course. In it. And Ellie's trying to, like, wait for the Firefly so she can talk to him and find out what the hell are they doing. Because, you know, she still thinks the Fireflies are good and all that. So, of course, she wouldn't want to kill him. And then as soon as they round the corner, you know, they start shooting. And Judge grabs Ellie and, like, runs out the way. And you're hurt. So you find a health kit, you know, next to where you managed to escape from the fireflies. That's where you know another patch up. You know, and then you just keep kind of going through the scenario here of being attacked by the fireflies. And eventually, you know, you'll find out like from completing this section and all that, and all the fireflies are dead, there's gonna be like a firefly who's like not quite dead, but he's dying. He's bleeding out. Tommy wants to know why the hell they attacked, so he goes up and kind of interrogates the Firefly. He's like, why did you guys attack us? The Firefly bleeding out tells them, you know, the real story of what the heck happened back at the hospital. You know, and he's just kind of like confused. So he's just like, wait, Joe said this happened. Who's lying here, you or him? Joe's kind of trying to stop Tommy from even listening to him. He's ready to even shoot him, but you know, Tommy stops Joe from shooting the Firefly, and then he tells them everything, you know, Marlene being killed, um, they need Ellie for the cure, and it's just like, there's other townspeople around here in this too, so they just like, feel like, whoa, Joe, all these people die here because you stole Ellie, killed the Fireflies, and like, led them here and all this, so, Maria, of course, pretty much being a leader, or mayor, whatever you want to say, for the group, she has... Joe kicked out and unfortunately you know although Tommy is Joe's brother he wants some mistake and believes like everyone makes mistakes and people can change and all that you know Maria doesn't want to hear it and all the people are riling up they're ready to kick Joe out or shoot him because you know again it's pretty much his fault and of course Ellie's pissed at him because she knew he was lying and she heard the truth and she knows um well Joe knows how much it meant to her to go to the fireflies and like save mankind because honestly you know i'm not a creator of the game i don't know what neil Druckmann or bruce straley were aiming at but i personally think that ellie feels like by joel taking her away from the fireflies and her not helping to find a cure that like she is losing her reason to live because obviously after riley died and all her friends you know tess sam henry and all that she feels like she's alone she's she doesn't have that drive to live you know and obviously joe what joe is saying isn't motivating her to live and all that so she, her last thing she wants to do is find this cure really after she finds a cure she could care what else she could care less what could happen you know even alludes at it with her little talk with um joe with the, after they've seen the giraffes and all that so Joe's kicked out. Ellie's not, of course, because she didn't do anything wrong. So they end up. Well, Ellie storms out like she did before at um. The last time they're at the dam when they fought the bandits, and Joe catches up. You know, he explains to her why he did it and says, you know, he like kind of just bursts out and says it. You know, I lost one door. I don't want to lose another. And obviously, although he's not going to admit it, because you know, in this world, you have to be strong. And showing the feelings for someone's nothing more than a weakness. Like, even as Bill said, so, he has said, I don't want to lose you, and I just want to make things right. Ellie forgives Joel as she, um, it's done time and time again. And she says, okay, if you want to make it up to me, you're going to help me get back to Salt Lake and go bring me to the Fireflies like you should have done in the beginning. Although Joel's a little reluctant because he knows they're going to kill her in order to make the cure he agrees to it because you know he owes it and at this point